Hey, what's up guys? Obviously it's Captain Obvious, and I got a game of free-for-all on the map Fallen in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for you here today. And what kind of name is Fallen? That makes absolutely no sense. But <laughs> that's not what the commentary is about. As you can tell by the, uh, the title, I'm going to talk about skill. Now, I've been, um, and I've talked to a couple people at school, um, you know, I've played with people online, I've talked to people on YouTube and stuff like that. And it seems like people don't, like, you know, they don't know what skill is. I mean, people are say, oh, skill is a 30 and 0. That sure will be a 30 and 0 in a free-for-all. But can you do that 20 times in a row? No, I don't think you can. Unless you're Steen Anders, of course. But skill is the consistency to do well. Not this on rare occasion amazing score that you get. It is the consistency of you winning and the consistency of you doing very, very well. Now, in Call of Duty, I have skill. Now, I'm not bragging or anything. I can consistently win games in a row. I mean, just two days ago, I won 20 free-for-all games in a row. It's uh, 19, actually. It's all my records. If you want to see it, I can prove it to you. But I won 19 games in a row, and that is skill. Now, I, mean, I didn't get tired. I didn't, you know, get fatigued by playing that long. I just have, you know, the dexterity, the hand-eye coordination and everything to be able to play that long and maintain my skill level, you know, over an extended period of time. Now, let me, let me explain exactly how, you know, th this happens and stuff like that. There are many things in a game that you can say you're skilled at. You can say you're skilled at, you know, your accuracy. You can say you're skilled at your, your reaction time. Yes, these are all great things, and they are probably the best things in that you can see in a player that you can measure their skill based off of. You need to have that hand-eye coordination to be able to watch the game and react almost instantaneously to what is going on on the screen. You do not have that much time in a game like this where you have to compensate for your lag. When compensating for lag, in addition to the time it takes your brain to tell your fingers and muscles what to do. See that exactly right there. I get shot. I instantly turned around looking for the guy. You have to have that kind of, you know, hand-eye coordination, muscle dexterity, and just the, you know, the reaction time to be able to instantly turn around and get the guy. You no, know, I didn't get him, but I knew exactly where he was, and I just knew the right time to turn around. Another thing you want to fo focus on in measuring your skill and seeing how skilled you are in these games is your accuracy. Accuracy is a is probably one of the best um, you know skills you could have in a game because you're not going to get those kills without hitting the guy. So accuracy is a really easy thing for you to measure. All you have to do is find the time it takes you to target the enemy and shoot him. That's pretty much it. The amount of time it takes you to snap on that target be it from 2 feet away or 30 feet away, the amount of time it takes to snap you onto that target and pull the trigger with all your bullets hitting. And then you have to see how many bullets you use to kill the enemy. And then you just factor that all into your little uh, mental equation, determining how well you did in that, you know, that gunfight or just the, the, you know, the, the accuracy you had at that time. Another thing in you know, your skill is um, common sense. Right there, I um, I heard the guy lay down the claymore. So what am I gonna do? Run into it? No, I throw a flashbang through the door. I stun the claymore and him, and I get the kill. You have to use common sense in games like this, or else you're not gonna survive. You know, you watch all these people on like YouTube and stuff like that. And the reason they're doing so well because they're thinking and they're using their brains to get through situations. I I, I can't stress it enough how much you have to be thinking. In a game like Call of Duty or a game like Battlefield, a game like Years of War, thinking just allows you to be able to just perform better in all situations. Now, this isn't, you know, thinking like, okay, he has a gun, he's going to shoot me. No, it's thinking it with and adapting the situation that change all the time. Let's say you're surrounded by three guys. One is right on you, the other one's behind you, and the other one is behind cover coming around the, uh, through a door. You hit the guy in front of you right away. Okay, now what do you do next? You have to think. You know he's behind you. He hasn't started shooting yet. What do you do? Do you dash over to that cover, 
to your left or do you try to turn around and get him? The situation, this is a pretty bad situation. You're kind of in a pickle. See right there. I, there's a guy coming there. Instantly turn around and get him. But it's kind of a different situation. What you want to do is you would like to go up to the cover. You can't stay out in the middle. I mean, this is these are the thoughts that have to be running through somebody's head in situations like this. You can't go through the middle. You have to go over to the cover because cover is the best way to dodge um, fire. It, it, there's no doubt about it. Cover is the best way for you to not get shot at. So, dab through the cover. And as you're doing that, turn around. Okay? You might want to crouch down, make it you have a less of a target. You crouch down, get into that cover. Let's say it's like a cabinet or something, like a counter. You get behind the counter, stand back up, pop him. Okay? You almost you might want to look off to your left just in case he follows you around that corner. But then the guy who comes around the door, you'll already be, already be in the position to get him when he comes out that door. You won't be out in the middle after you kill the guy if you just turn around. And then you'll be low on health. It's this kind of thinking that you have to, has to be going through somebody's head when they play games like this. Now, I can go on and on about you know how to be better at Call of Duty and stuff. And you know, I'll be honest with you, I think I do want to go on and on about how to be better at Call of Duty. Um, I, I've been playing for the past couple of days and I've realized... That I really do have a lot of to offer in terms of you know insight and uh, knowledge into how to play these games well. So what I'm gonna do is um, I will start a series sort of called uh, you know tips or something like that. I'll probably do like a five minute commentary on certain ways that you have to work on if you want to be better at the game. Now, yes, uh, you might be thinking I'm a little cocky right now, but I mean if you actually you know listen to my tips you you figure out you know you figure out your situations you do your thinking and stuff i bet you become a better player in no time um you know all these people on youtube they're they're amazing okay and people aren't saying they're cocky and stuff because they say they're good at the game because they are and you can't call someone cocky when they're good at the game when in, in reality they really are good at it but uh enough about you know my future plans in terms of a uh, you know, a series. Other things about skill. I know I mentioned reaction time earlier, and this is a big one. A reaction time is, you know, played in two parts. One, it's the reaction time that you can react to someone shooting at you while you're facing them, or it's the reaction time and what, hang on, let me start that over. Reaction time of someone, you're facing someone shooting you, someone shooting you from behind, from above you, or something like that. And the other reaction time is from when seeing a guy and actually, you know, having it registered in your brain and knowing exactly what to do. Now, yes, that's a little bit, you know, you can blame that, uh, contribute that toward accuracy, but it's still in the re reaction time, um, you know, like sector, I guess you could say. You always want to have your, you know, you always want to be reacting perfectly to your surroundings. But since reaction time is such a, important part of the way you play a game like this you have to dedicate it to a complete other video i mean I don't, I don't have the two minutes left in this video to talk about reaction time so what is there to uh you know sum it up with skill you can't measure skill based on a one-time affair um you have to measure it on based on consistency and many players on youtube and in the pro um gaming circuit they have the consistency that you need you need consistency. If you find a player who will go 30 and 0 once every 10 games, he may be good, but he doesn't have the skill to keep it going. You need that, like I said, you need the the, uh, the anti-fatigue. You need the fact that you can push through these situations. You just need the, you know, uh, the stamina to keep going, and you just need that skill to stay consistent. Um, I can prove it to you. I mean, I, I can say how much I've, I'm consistent in playing this game. Um, I recorded every single one of those 20 games. So if you want to, I can just post them all up and use that as my commentary and like, you know, put like a little date or whatever or time on there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be looking for uh, more tips from me as I will start doing because I think I have a lot to offer to you. Hope you get better at the game. Maybe you can play with me sometimes and, you know, we can work on it together. But thanks for watching. Go follow me on Twitter. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.